SimCenter FlowTherm is an electronic thermal analysis software. Models are created from smart parts and properties such as materials. To illustrate FlowTherm, we'll build a simple natural convection model of a PCB with a few components. After I've sketched in the PCB, I'm going to use the cuboid to represent the simple component. I'll adjust the Z height and the Z location of the component so it's sitting on top of the board. Now I'm going to attach a material property and a thermal property to represent the power dissipation. The next step I'll do is to add a heatsink to the top of that component. And you'll notice as soon as I added the heatsink, the grid changed. FlowTherm has instant mesh and the grid is instantly added as soon as you add geometry. I'm going to adjust the number of fins and the fin height of the heatsink. And also attach an aluminum alloy. I'm going to rotate the heatsink so that the fins are aligned with gravity. I have three of these on my board, so to make it easier to copy and paste, I'm going to first put them in a subassembly. After in the subassembly, I'm going to localize the grid on that subassembly to reduce the overall mesh count. And now I can click and drag this assembly and drop them in different positions on the board. I'm ready to solve the model now. The model took on my laptop four seconds to run. So let's now take a look at some of the results. I'm going to select the three sub-assemblies and see FlowTherm will show me the maximum and minimum temperatures associated with those assemblies. We can also look at graphical results. We'll do a surface temperature plot on the PCB and all the components. I'm going to adjust the temperature scale so that it is just based on the temperature associated with that plot and we'll create a cut plot in the center of that assembly. Right now it's showing temperature. We'll switch it to fluid temperature, go to isometric view and move that plot. And that's a simple introduction to SimCenter FlowTherm.